Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Blueprints video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood what is a variable, how do we create a variable, how do we initialize a variable, how do we get variable, how do we set variable. In the previous video, we understood arithmetic operators in Unreal Blueprints. Just to make you understand how do we use variables and operators together. Just to make you understand how do we use variables and operators together? In this video, I would like to discuss how to design a blueprint to add two numbers in Unreal. We understand how to design a blueprint to add two numbers in Unreal, guys. We want to find sum of 22 and 22, sum of 43 and 23, sum of 78 and 53, sum of 22 and 11. We know that 22 plus 22 is equals to 44, 43 plus 23 is equals to 66, 78 plus 53 which is equal to 131, 22 plus 11 is equal to 33, right? And if you observe, all these numbers are whole numbers and whole numbers are considered as integer numbers, right? The whole numbers are considered as integer numbers. To store the first number, to store the first number, we create one variable. So I go to blueprint. I say here uh, plus, I create a variable called as num1 and its type I set integer. To store the first number, we are creating one variable called as num1 of type integer. And to store the second number, to store the second number, we create another variable of type integer. So I say plus, I say here num2 of type integer. And to store the sum, to store the result, to store the sum, we create another variable. We know that what is variable. Variable is the named memory location whose value can change during the execution of a program. I say here plus, I say sum. When we say compile, it sets the default value. So num1 default value is 0, num2 default value is 0 and sum default value is 0. So what happens here is a computer creates a memory location called as num1. Inside that it puts the default value 0. It creates one more memory location with the name num2 and it puts the default value 0. It creates one more memory location called as sum. Inside that it puts the default value 0. So variable is a named memory location. It is a named memory location whose value can change during the execution of a program guys. So when we play it creates three memory locations, num1, num2, num3, uh, num1, num2 and sum and it sets initial value or the default value 0. And when we click on the play button, okay, on event begin play, on event begin play, I want to set num1. So I drag the num1 and say set num1. Here I connect the execution pin. I want num1 should be 22, okay. And then I drag num2, I say set num2 and num2 should be 22 num2 should be 22 we want to find sum of 22 and 22 first right we want to find sum of 22 and 22 so that is the reason i am saying here set num1 to 22 set num2 to 22 so on begin play when we click on the play button of course the variables are created and event event begin play is triggered num1 is set to 22 num2 is set to 22 so what happens here it removes 0 from num1 memory and puts the value 22 and it removes 0 from num2 memory location it puts the value 22 okay now we have to get the current values and we have to add them the result we have to set to sum so i'm going to drag num1 get the current value of num1 drag num2 get the current value of num2 and then we have to add so i search for add operator i say add num1 i connect to a and num2 i connect to b num1 is 22 num2 is 22 22 plus 22 44 it returns which we have to set to sum so i drag set sum i say and then i connect the execution pins and the result i connect to sum so what happens 22 plus 22 is added that is 44 is assigned to sum so what happens here 0 is removed from the sum and it is going to have the value 44 understanding now we have to display the current value of sum, right? We have to display the current value of sum. So sum, get sum, and then I say here print string, 
print string connect the execution pins and display the sum okay so that is how we design a blueprint to add two numbers guys so if i say compile and save come to the level one and play you see we are getting 44 displayed right now let's go and find the sum of uh, 43 and 23 43 plus 20, 23 we should get 66 right so let's come here to level one blueprint here i say so num1 should be 43 num2 should be 23 so on uh, event begin play num1 is set to 43 what happens here num1 is set to 43 and num2 is set to 23 num2 is set to 23 right that's what we are putting here then it takes the current value of num1 and num2 adds together which is 43 23 43 23 the result will be 66 stored in the sum 66 is stored in the sum guys so sum is going to become 66 okay and that sum we are getting and displaying we are getting the sum and displaying compile and save and if i say play we'll get 66 guys so like that you can implement the addition of two numbers program in unreal blueprints guys very simple thing right let's go here 78 plus 53 so 78 plus 53 compile and save definitely we'll get 131 displayed here you see we got 131 when i play right and uh, similarly 22 plus 11 okay here i say 22 plus 11 22 plus 11 22 plus 11 is 33 which is stored in the sum and we are displaying that compile save come here and play you see we got 33 guys so i hope you guys have clearly understood how do we create uh, variables and uh, how do we set the default value right and how do we set variables and how do we get variables and how do we add variables together right? how do, we are understanding how do we use variables and uh, operators together that's it guys so for this video tutorial i suggest to people to try it yourself try to create uh, a, a blueprint okay try to design a blueprint to subtract two numbers or multiply two numbers so it's it's your wish now you understood the uh, basics right in the upcoming video tutorials we discuss more about um, or variables we see more examples uh, to understand how to use variables and operators if you like this video hit the like button and uh, share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and uh, be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep designing and keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial